I'd like to introduce you to the concept of work. Work is the mechanical transfer of energy to or from a system by an external force. Work is denoted with a capital W and has the base SI units of Newton meters. However, a Newton meter is actually a derived unit known as a joule. The equation for work is right here, which means I want you to get out your College Board equation sheet. Let's take a closer look. Now, let me explain this to you. So work is done by a force, yes, but that force is parallel to the object's displacement, where this angle theta is referencing the angle between the force and the object's displacement. Let me show you an example here. Here we have a, an object on a frictionless surface, and a force is going to be applied to this object. This force will accelerate the object a distance d to the right. So, given this information, I want to talk to you about the work equation. Notice that the force is to the right. Notice that the displacement is to the right. In other words, the force is parallel to the displacement of the object. So, if we want to really look at the trigonometry here, our angle between the force and the displacement is actually zero. That means that if we take the cosine of zero, we will get one, which means work is equal to force times distance, which is why on your sheet you will see the modulus bars indicating that it's the parallel component of the force. Let's look at another example. In this example, we do have friction on this surface. So let's go ahead and look at an example in which we will get something called negative work, which in which the force is opposing the direction of the motion. This object is going to be accelerated to the right. Okay, now the angle is what determines the signage. In other words, the angle is what determines if work is positive or negative. All right, so you're actually, when you use this equation, you're just going to take the absolute value for the force and the displacement because it's the angle. Let me show you this. Here, we're going to apply a force again to this object, except now there's a force that's opposing the motion. Now that force is the force of kinetic friction. Kinetic friction is the force of this surface acting to the left on this object, whereas the force applied acted to the right um, for this object, resulting in a displacement to the right. So this force applied is positive work. However, let's look at the angle here and the free body diagram here to help us understand why force of kinetic friction is actually negative work. Displacement is to the right. Force of kinetic friction is parallel to that displacement, but to the left in the opposite direction. It is actually 180 degrees for our cosine function in the work equation. Now, if you take the cosine of 180 degrees, you get negative 1, which means that this will give you a negative value when you calculate work. Therefore, it's the angle that determines the signage of whether work is positive or negative. Now, Here's Stickman, all right? Stickman is carrying an object across the room, okay? So here he goes. He goes a given distance across the room. I want to identify all forces on this object, and I also want to determine the work done by each force. You see, in the previous two examples, we could say that the work done by the force applied was positive, whereas the work done by the force of kinetic friction was negative. So we want to consider 
all forces acting upon an object. So let's look at a free body diagram here to help us consider all of these forces. Well, this one's pretty easy. There's two forces. You have the upward force of the hand onto the object. Let's call it force applied. And you have the downward force of the earth on the object or the force of gravity. Those are the two forces that we're going to analyze. And now we're going to look at the work that is done by these two forces, force applied and the force of gravity. Let's look at our displacement here. Displacement of this object is to the right, but our forces are acting vertically up and down. If we look at the angle between either of these vectors, either the force applied or the force of gravity, you'll see it's a 90 degree angle. If we consider now the work equation and the trigonometry, cosine of 90 degrees gives us zero. Therefore, the work done by the force of gravity and the work done by the force applied are both equal to zero joules. Again, joules is a derived unit, the base SI being a Newton meter. Consider the units for a moment. Newton meter, we're taking a force with the unit Newton and we're multiplying it by displacement with the unit meters. That's where Newton meters comes from, or the joule. Now let's look at another scenario. Hey, Stickman. So here, Stickman gently lowers an object. So now let's consider the displacement of that object. Well, it was down. Now let's consider the forces, which are the same for the free body diagram. And let's consider the work done by each of these forces. So first, let's talk about the force applied. So the force applied, the distance and the trigonometry cosine 180. Think about it, you guys. If the upward force of the hand onto the object is up and the displacement was down, that is down in parallel, it is in the opposite direction. It is 180 degrees. So the sign, excuse me, the angle determines again that this work being done by the force applied is less than zero joules. In other words, it's negative. So negative work is being done by the force applied. Whereas if we now consider the force of gravity, the force of gravity is acting straight down toward Earth and the displacement of this object was straight down towards Earth. So they are forces, the force is parallel to the displacement. And our angle here, if we even want to include it, is zero degrees, which means we will get one, which means we will get work is greater than zero joules. We'll get positive work. Remember the cosine of zero is one. So whether you include that in the trig or not, because that force is indeed parallel. So positive work is being done by the force of gravity. Here's another example. Stickman gently lifts the object. Okay, let's do the same thing. There are the forces acting, force applied, force of gravity. However, this time the displacement is up so the direction has changed. When we look at our work equation to calculate the work done by the force applied, we get cosine zero, which means work is positive. Positive work in this case is done by the force applied. Now, if we consider the force of gravity, which is straight down toward Earth, but the displacement was straight up in the opposite direction, 180 degrees, which gives Cosine 180 equal to negative 1, which means we will get a negative value when we calculate work. So, in this video, I've introduced you to the concept of work, and we have a lot of work ahead of us in this unit. And I'll see you guys in class.